and a berry bowl. And the way we're going to make it into a berry bowl is we're going to have to put some holes in it. So now I have it tricked here, here too. I, what I do here is, it's not so much a trick. What I do is I sign the pot first. Like, now the pot is trimmed. I'm going to put my name right here, like I always do on my pots. Ten Maggie Valley, North Carolina, U.S. Hey. Okay, so now the pot's signed. I got my mark over here too. And now we're going to turn this baby into a berry bowl. And here it is. Here's the drill motor. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a series of holes in this pot so that the water can drain out. And I'm using the posties here to give me a third, a third, and a third. So I'm going to start just here above the posty and I'm going to drill a hole. Now I'll drill another hole and another hole and then a opposing hole like two over here, right here, and then one at the end. And the same thing on this side, and that side, and over here. Now if you don't have an electric drill motor, which I have, we have a device here which is a, a pen and a nub on the end and it's got a little spade and this also will cut the holes in the pot but this you got to do with your finger and this you do with a machine so this makes it quite easy. So we're going to do the same series of holes here, making a pattern. Doesn't take that long, unless your battery runs out, <laughs> and then it takes forever. But right now I'm all right. Okay, one more set of holes here. Here we go. One, two, three, two siders. Same thing over here, over here, one more over there, and then let's put like two right here, and two right here. These are drain holes, that's all they are. You're going to put your strawberries or blueberries or something in these holes. Now the center hole is real important, you don't want to hit. You don't want to hit the, uh, the sign part of the pot. Now, I have a, another trick because I used to try to, I always used to try to, uh, to make the holes ex fit exactly and have to make feet in the, in the piece, a foot, and then have to cut out three places for the water to run out. And I used to have a lot of trouble doing that, but I've now figured out how to do it. I take a flat, a flat pretty good sized drill, and what I do is I'm going to use the drill as a, as a knife, and I'm going to cut through the foot to make, to make the four feet that's going to hold this berry bowl up. See how we now got there, so one. Two. And three. And that makes a real nice cut. <clears throat> and makes a real nice foot on this berry bowl. So we'll spin it away. We'll slow it up. We're going to take it off the wheel head now. Show you the inside is cut quite nicely. We're going to pull out the two pins that were in the bottom, smooth out the pin holes here on either side, and we have a basic berry bowl. Now I see that on this one, I think what I need to do is I'm going to add a couple of more holes here, right here above this, this grid here. I'm just going to put one more hole up here. 
So I'm just going to take my drill and just add a single hole. Oops, I got the too big of a drill bit in here. Change bits real quick. How am I doing on time here? Oh, three minutes. I got plenty of time. Redo the drill. Okay, and do the final last hole here. And a hole here just to extend the holes a little bit. And one more to finish this puppy up. Alrighty, so what we have now is a footed berry bowl with holes inside and a very nice plate that I threw just before and finished. And this will go on here. And that's what you would do to bring this to the table and have your people eat this fresh strawberries that are the water is dripping into the bottom of the catcher. And you can spoon blueberries or raspberries or whatever kind of berries you want to use. And you'll have a real interesting little berry bowl. Thanks for watching. It's Pit of the Potter in Maggie Valley.